Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome to my new Football Manager 2018 mini-series. Well, it's going to be a proper series, let's be honest, with one of my local teams from back home, which I created their youth setup for whenever I was a coach, uh, Barn United. Now, as you, as you are, if you probably aren't aware, I am not an Irish. Um, so I grew up in a little town called Carrick Fergus, back home in Northern Ireland, just down the Belfast Lock, 20 minutes outside Belfast. And inside our local town, we have we have quite a few teams, but we got one big team called Carrick Rangers. And right next door to them, in Haslip Park, is a, one of the smallest clubs I know, and it's Barn United. Now, whenever I went, whenever I was coaching, I was coaching. I was one of the youngest ever coaches in Northern Ireland, so. I, I've got my coaching badges from the IFA, which is the Irish Football Association for you English people. Um, during that time, I was only like 15, 16. So I was like the one of the youngest ever coaches to get a be qualified coach in Northern Ireland and even in the United Kingdom. Um, but it was done by it through the local police service. At the, I don't know how they've, they've, they've changed their name to the PSNI, but... Anyway, RUCPS and I, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, it was basically a group, but there was one from each area, and we created um, football for kids to get them off the streets. Well, obviously, that took off really, really well. I was on my own, and I had about 50, 60 kids coming to my training every week. So we were like the biggest team. But as it progressed and progressed, we wanted to enter into the local football league. Now, Kite Rangers already had a youth team. Because I played for Carrick Rangers as a child growing up myself. And played in their first team and all the rest of it. Yeah, many, many moons ago. So, Barn United didn't have a youth team. So, we approached them and they agreed. And then they created Barn United Youth now. Which is still going to to this date. Now, I live in England now. Left it many, many, many years ago. Um, because I then left them. Once I created the team after the first year. I left them in the hands of a couple of other coaches. Who wanted to take them a bit further. And I went and coached um, girls football, believe it or not, for both Carrick Rangers and Ballymena United. Now, obviously, with all this, it meant I seen that there was a whole entire thing available for Northern Ireland for all the lower leagues. And I was like, oh, wouldn't it be awesome to manage a lower league in Northern Ireland and see if we can get all the way to... The Dansk, it's called now the Danske Premier League, which is the old Ulster Bank, I believe, in Northern Ireland. Might not be, I might be completely wrong, but I'm nearly sure the Danske Bank is the old Ulster Bank, which is the local one of the local banks back home. So, I went ahead and looked around, and I looked up just Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and the Republic of Ireland. Didn't load England, because I'm not, don't want to do that. So I just wanted to try and manage one of my local little teams and see how what it's going to be like so obviously with being from Carrick Fergus uh, having a local team managing one of the local teams so Barn United Youth or sorry Barn United even um, obviously I created the youth team many many moons ago but I found them it took me a while to find out what division they're in because I don't actually know terrible terrible because I didn't I never felt never followed local football in my whole entire life so anyway they're in the Northern Irish Amateur Division 1B. Yeah, we're in like the 5th or 6th tier of the Irish Football League. Okay, so that's cool, that's cool. So we'll have a quick look at the league here. And obviously, as you can see, we've got Ballina Hinch United, Bally Walter, Ourselves Bar United, Colin Valley, Downshire, Dramara, Dundonald, Dunmurray, Grove United, Mosley, Portaferry, Rosario, St. Luke's, and the University of Ulster, Jordanstown. That's who the UUJ is. Now, obviously, you guys are going to look at some of them names and go, what the hell? Yeah, that's how you pronounce them. I ain't going to get pronunciations wrong in my own country. Well, I hope I'm not anyway. So, we are predicted to finish fifth in the league. And I was just looking at the club because, obviously, I grew up with a lot of these guys and played football with a lot of these guys and went to school with these guys. Like, this guy here, Andy Kane, me and him were, like, best mates growing up. We lived in the same street. Earlier end of the street, funny enough, we looked almost identical growing up. We had the same hair colour, eye colour, height, build. Both played football, both loved our football. And here he is. Guy I grew up with playing football. And 
32, yeah, that'd be about right. He was a couple years younger than myself. So there you go. One of my little mates, Andy Kane, is in the game. And he is at this club. Mark Kelly, um, same age as myself. Uh, we went to different primary schools, played against it. He went to Green Island Primary, I went to Woodlawn. And we played against each other many, many, many times for the schools. Fierce rivalry, but we loved it. Then we played together at secondary school. So, again, I grew up with Mark Kelly. Know him quite well as well. Guy McGee, Gary McGee, well, I grew up with him too. He broke my hand in four places by landing on it. Fuck it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. D. Wickham, play football with him in six aside football mainly. Uh, whenever I ran a little six aside team in the local Sunday six aside league, uh, D. Wickham and me used to play quite well together. So, yeah, I'm just looking through the squad and I. So many people I know. Aaron Bell played many times against him and his brother. So it's quite funny to see him in here too. And so many other ones that I could point out, like nearly his whole team. I know most of this team. There's a few players here that are missing that I thought would have been in here, but they're not, which is kind of disappointing because obviously there's a few more, like the Mallers brothers and things like that, that aren't here, which really should be. Because Nicky Sharp was retired. I think he's nearly sure he's retired now. No, he's not. He is actually still playing. He's a, a little bit older than myself, but I'm not surprised he's still playing. But, like, I mean, it's missing a few of the players that I grew up with. But all in all, it's a pretty good little squad. As you can see, they're quite an old team. Now, we're protected to finish fifth. So, ideally, I need to bring in some youth. Now, I've already went ahead and searched out some youth player, some younger players, and have enough of them contracts. Just they've asked for promises. They're a amateur league, so there's no, there's no paying any players. There's no anything like that there. It's amateur league football, so there's no contracts involved. So it's either you want to play from here or you don't. Simple as that. As you can see, we've only got limited staff. I've put average out to try and fill in all these staff member positions. Dynamics. Oh, wrong button. Dynamics. There you go. My zero support is pretty good, considering I know most of them anyway. Match cohesion is excellent. Top influential players is Gary McGee, which doesn't surprise me because he's loudmouth. And Keith Miller. <laughs> I'm surprised Andy isn't in there because he's quite a loud mouth too at times. But dressing room atmosphere is a mix. We currently have no unhappy players. There's one hop one player. There's only one player at the club that could be considered very happy. Okay. We have a what oh well, they're all from the same country, they're all from the same region, they're all pretty much from Carrick or Green Island, to be fair, maybe Whitehead and, and a push Larn. So they're all pretty local. Uh, maybe Island McGee too, because we got quite a few. I would say there from Island McGee. All speak the same language, of course. We're in the same country, etc., etc. So I thought, why not? Let's do a first. Let's do a little one from one of my local teams. Put it out on the channel and uh, be a bit different because everyone else seems to do all. Oh, this is my childhood team. We create a club and all this stuff. No, 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 no. I have the club in here. So, I could have went with Kyrie Rangers because I played for them as a kid, but why? I prefer to go with a lower team. And obviously, there is other teams in Carrick, don't get me wrong, but like, I mean, we're in the amateur division 1B. I want to try and see if I can get this team all the way up to the Danska Premier League. Obviously, these players won't be around long enough. They're not the greatest players in the world, but hey, it's amateur league football. We're going to try and get this team to be professional. Let's have a quick look at the club. So as you can see, obscure rating. Well, of course, it took some someone to sit down and redo the database editor. Amateur, because that's what we are. They've been found it for a very long time, to be fair. Finances are okay. And as you can see, we they were in the Irish Prem, Amateur Premier Division, and they got relegated. Finished 13th in the Amateur Division 1A. Then they finished 10th. And then they got relegated, I'm assuming. Because we're in the 1B now. So, But that's okay. Haslett Park, 600 capacity. All standing, no seats. I think you can sit on the seats in Haslett Park. Or sit on the steps in Haslett Park to watch the match. Grass, conditions always very poor. It's not as bad as Carrick Rangers ground because they're just built at a 45 degree angle. This one's pretty flat. I played at this pitch quite a few times. And that is their traditional home and away kits, which is pretty good. And that is their official badge. So I'm well happy at that. That is pretty impressive. Quick look at the board. Job security stable. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's looking good. Finances wise, 900 quid in the bank. Bonus. We ain't paying anything out. We're not paying any wages. So that 900 quid should stay there quite well. We have no reserve players. Not really going to worry about that. Competition wise, uh, is there a way to view what they want us to be? Oh, I think it's here, isn't it? We're predicted to finish in fifth. Season preview, we are due to finish. They reckon we're going to be finishing fifth. We were relegated last season. So, before I took over, obviously. Uh, where can I find out what the holders are East Belfast? Where can I find out what the board expect from me for the competitions? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's a very good point. I never knew this. Never ever find this. It's in competition, isn't it? Competition performance. There it is. Details. So, top half finish. Okay, they expect a top half finish. So, that would go well with the fifth position. Okay. Irish Cup. Reach the second round. Okay. And the Intermediate Cup. Reach the first round. Sweet. Nice and simple. So, let's have a look at the schedule for this team. If I can find it. See, eyes are going. So our first game is, we've got a load of friendlies here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five friendlies against Coke United. They're in the Balamina, Northern Irish Balamina Premier Division. So they're also an amateur team. Uh, then we've got one against Woodville. Again, amateur. They're not even, they're in League 2A, which is not even created. So that's one of the lowest, lowest leagues. Then we got SE Enter Stars, which again is in a lower league, it's not even available. And I've got what the seven lowest leagues loaded, I believe. St. Pat's Young Men, they're in the Amateur Division 1A, so they're a division above us, I believe. Yeah, they're in a division above us. So that's okay. And then we got Green Island Old Boys. Again, I know this team quite well. Green Island Boys. Green Island Football Club. It's actually called Green Island Boys Football Club. I'm nearly sure of it. Um, I know this quite well. My dad lives in Green Island. I spent a lot of time in Green Island. So, and they're in Division 2B. So I know, again, this team quite well. I don't know if any of their players are loaded. No. I didn't think they would. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all these little friendlies. And then we'll come back for the first league game of the season against Colin Valley. And we'll go from there. But this, I thought, would just be a quick little introduction to what my new series is going to be for Football Manager. I've been trying to figure out what I was going to do. I was going to do either an international one, or I was going to see if I could get, uh, see if there was a download available for my local teams from back home. Because, obviously, some of the names you're going to come up against on this, like Coke United, you wouldn't think it's called Coke the way it's spelled. I love catching everyone out from over here whenever I say, can you, what does that word say? And they're, they're making, they're like, what? What's that? And I'm like, it's such and such. And they're like, no way. So yeah, I just thought it would be a bit different and do a little series for my local, one of my local teams back home in the lower amateur league division and try to get them up to be a semi-professional at least because I'm not sure Carrick Rangers are semi-professional. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, there they are. Yeah, the Danks Premier League, Carrick Rangers. They are semi-professional. Yeah, I thought they were. So, let's have a quick look at them, see if I know any of their players. I should know most of their players. Uh, yeah, Colin McNulty, Michael McKenna, Mark Serziger, Gavin Taggart. Yeah, I know a few of their players. Okay. Obviously, I don't know them all, but I know some of them. So, yeah. That's my aim, is to get all the way up to the Danks Premier League, which is the top division in Northern Ireland. So I want to be competing with the likes of Linfield, Glentoran, Cliftonville, the Crews. Not worried about Warren Point and things like that, and Ballymena United. I want to be up in this league by the end. So i got a long way to go. But this is our new mini-series with, with one of my local teams, Barn United. And obviously, this is going to be... A rather interesting one for me, seeing football manager working with people I grew up with and went to school with and played against and, you know, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to enjoy the series so, so much. So guys, if you're looking forward to this series, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. 
Don't miss out in any of the other content I have going. And definitely don't miss out in this series. These are going to love it. And I know I'm already loving it. You can probably tell by my um, voice that I am excited about this one. So guys, until next time for the first league game of the season. I'm going to do game by game, I think. Every game I'll, I'll do a video for this one. Just so you can see all the different teams in, in the Amateur League. And how terrible and how good or how terrible they really, really are. Actually, it's really exciting football if you go and watch these guys actually play. Um, so, it's going to be, uh, hopefully it's going to be an epic series. So, thank you very much guys for coming and watching. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a good one. All the best. Bye.